Hi, I'm Chris King. Welcome to my blog. Today I want to remind you of your strength, resourcefulness, courage, the power of your choice, and your ability to learn and grow. I believe in you. The intention of my blog is to stay connected and inspired as lifelong learners, with a flow of information and ideas both ways, from us to you, and from you to us. This is actually take two on my first blog entry. I was so nervous when I finished, I was drenched with sweat. I love the content and think it's perfect for beginning the new year inspired and clear. Here we go. I want to pose a question. What if your real job is to live an extraordinary life? I'll say that again. What if your real job is to live an extraordinary life? Open the doors of your heart and mind to this question and ask yourself, what if my real job is to live an extraordinary life? While you're being with that thought, I want to share one of my favorite poems by Mary Oliver, Wild Geese. You do not have to be good. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert, repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese, high in the clear blue air, are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over announcing your place in the family of things. What if your real job is to live an extraordinary life, not to fulfill your parents' expectations, not to prove anything to anyone, not to think small and play it safe, not to get a college degree or degrees, not to get a well-paying job that withers your soul so you can pay the bills. Not to hold yourself responsible for everyone else's well-being. Not to miss your children going up because you're at work. Not to be so exhausted because you say yes when you want to say no. Not to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. What if your real job is to live an extraordinary life? Have you ever noticed that so many people seem to be sleepwalking through life, doing the same thing, patterns of behavior every day, and then wondering why they're bored and unhappy, perhaps waiting for something to happen so things will change? Have you done that too? I invite you to step out of any pattern now that says, I can do it later. We have no idea how long we'll be here. I believe the universe is always sending us information about what's working and what's not. And when we don't listen or pay attention, the universe sends us louder messages, dramatic wake-up calls, accidents, illness, broken relationships, and mishaps, raising the intensity of the message to such a degree that we have to listen. That is a hard way to change. Yet in those dramatic moments, we may begin to ask ourselves the questions we won't listen to while we're sleepwalking, going through the motions. We may ask, am I living fully? Am I loving? Who's going to miss me? Who will I miss? Do I matter? Is there a reason I'm here? Am I creating something I'm proud of? Does my life have meaning? Do I feel fulfilled? I think it's time to ask those questions now because I'm still here, you're still here. The clock is ticking and we don't know how much time we have here. And there's no time like now to get going. How would your life be different if you chose to believe 
My real job is to live an extraordinary life. Take a moment to imagine. I believe when each of us arrived in this life, we were given a job. It's just that nobody told us. I believe our job is to be a happy, healthy, vibrant human being making a contribution. If I had known that, I wouldn't have doubted myself so much, and I would have made very different decisions along the way. How about you? Let's see what Random House Dictionary says about each of these pieces. Happy, fortunate, effective, well-being, contentment, joyous. Are you happy? Healthy, soundness and vigor of the body and mind, freedom from disease or ailment. Are you healthy? Vibrant, pulsating with energy, resonant, passionate. Are you vibrantly alive? Contribute, to give in common with others, to play a significant part in bringing about a result. Are you using your gifts and talents to create positive results for yourself and others? Would you sign up for this job description? To be content and joyous, vigorous in body and mind, pulsating with passion and using your gifts and talents for the highest good? I say, yes, sign me up. This is the kind of job I really want to have. Now is always the time to live an extraordinary life, no matter what the circumstances, no matter who is present. Please remember Mary Oliver's words. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting over and over announcing your place in the family of things. What will you do right now, today, to step into the life you have always dreamed of living? One step takes you from dreaming to reality. Until next time, this is Chris King asking you a very important question. What if your real job is to live an extraordinary life?